Hey, what's happening everyone? I uh, hope you're all having a good day. So as many of you may know, I've been in Asia for the last seven months and just recently came back to my home state of Indiana. And I'm really excited to film this episode for you guys because I haven't really done a lot of like outdoors exploring a lot around my uh, home state where I was born at. So today I'm gonna to be taking you on a tour of the best waterfalls in Indiana. I did some research on the internet prior to this and yeah, time to go for an adventure and check out some beautiful waterfalls in my home state. So I just got here to Williamsport, Indiana. It's a small town on the western side of the state near the Illinois and Indiana border, about midway up the state. And I'm walking down through the forest right now to Williamsport Falls, which is like the highest uh, free falling waterfall in the state of Indiana. One of the highest, it's about 90 feet high. So uh, we're gonna go down and check out this waterfall. Okay, so this is a little bit of a uh, bummer. I just drove like three hours to get here and the falls are pretty dried up right now. Uh, right here in this little crevice is where the water's supposed to be coming out at, where it normally does. But apparently it hasn't rained in so long that the waterfall is dried up right now. Um, it's really beautiful down here though, like this whole canyon area. Uh, where the falls is at, you got the little pool right here. But yeah, I'll throw up a picture real quick of what the falls is normally uh, supposed to look like so you can get an idea of that. But yeah, this is the uh, Williamsport Falls area. It's uh, too bad that it wasn't actually flowing today, but I know some of the others will be, so uh, time to go check out the next waterfall. Just made it to the next destination area. Now I am at Cataract Falls State Recreation Area, which is outside of Cloverdale, Indiana, southwest of Indianapolis. There's two waterfalls here, the upper falls and the lower falls, and it was $7 to get in here. Uh, I forgot to mention that Williamsport Falls was actually free. Might wanna go there in the springtime when it's uh, just rained or something. But anyways, yeah, so right now I'm walking down to uh, check out the upper portion of Cataract Falls. So the first view there was of Upper Cataract Falls. Now I'm walking back to Lower Cataract Falls. One other fun fact about Cataract Falls is that it's the uh, largest waterfall by volume in Indiana. So the most water flows over these falls than any of the other falls in Indiana. Just a little Fun fact I thought I'd share with you before we get down to uh, Lower Cataract Falls. So I think that about wraps it up for uh, Cataract Falls State Recreation Area. Um, the walk between the two falls was about 15 minutes from the upper falls to the lower falls. So nice little hike through this beautiful forest area. Anyways, uh, heading back to the car now and then I'll be on my way to the next waterfall. Just got back to the car, eating some banana bread before I head to the next place. Ah. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank Just you. Got in for the 
day. Yeah, just for the day. So all the state parks in Indiana are like seven dollars to get in for the day. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And we're in! Okay, so I just got here to McCormick Creek State Park, located just outside of Spencer, Indiana. Um, I'm hiking down now to the McCormick Creek Falls, which is supposed to be a very beautiful waterfall in this park. I also saw on the map that the lady at the entrance gave me that there's a cave back on the other side of the state park. So I'm probably going to end up checking that out too uh, while I'm here, since I'll have the time before uh the daylight goes away because it doesn't seem like it's a very long hike down to the falls i was just reading on a sign back there that there are northern banded uh water snakes that live down by the falls so hopefully you get to see a really cool snake maybe a big one. Oh, that would be so awesome Just finished up at the falls. That one was really cool and unique in the way that it was like set down in the canyon. It was really cool. And some of the leaves down by the falls were uh, turning like orange and yellow faster than some of these trees up here. I'm sure it's just the type of tree. Not sure which one goes first, but yeah, it was really beautiful down there. I liked it a lot. Alrighty, so I think I'm gonna head over to the cave now. The only reason that I was debating on going to the cave is because I didn't know how long it would be till it got dark and I'm going to camp tonight. I was gonna camp here, but then it cost $14, so I decided to get on freecampsites.net instead and find a free campsite to camp at. And I found this place that's like down south of here a little bit on the way to the next waterfall that I wanna to visit tomorrow. Um, that is free camping and it's really interesting it's like a campground for people who have like horse trailers and I don't know why but like a lot of times when I've stayed at free campgrounds in the past when I used to like live in my car for a while a lot of the time they were like horse uh, parking campgrounds or whatever you want to call it so I don't know why that is that they make these free campgrounds for people with horses but it's pretty cool so I'm gonna take advantage of that and camp there tonight um, but yeah, now I'm gonna go head to the cave. Almost back at the car from the Wolf Cave Trail. I really liked it a lot. The uh, Wolf Cave went back in about like 20 yards and uh, the Twin Bridges was really cool. It was like a natural rock. Uh, archway where there was like a sinkhole or something underneath. I'm not sure how to describe it really, but I've never really seen something like that. So that was pretty sweet, uh, especially to see in my home state, which is cool. So now I'm gonna head back to the car and then head over to the campground. I think it's about a 45 minute drive from here. So I just made it to the campground where I'll be staying at tonight. It's called like Black Horse Campground or something like that. Yeah, this is where I'll be at for the rest of the night and I will see you in the morning. Good morning everyone. It's a little bit rainy outside today as you may be able to tell. Um, I looked up the weather for the next place I'm going though and I don't think it's going to rain there till later this afternoon so that's good. Just ate some breakfast here. Uh, I'm getting ready to head out. Maybe go grab a coffee, put some gas in the car and then head to the next waterfall. Getting some gas and some coffee. Brushing my teeth at the gas station like a real boss would do. Alrighty, I just arrived here at Clifty Falls State Park in southern Indiana. Uh, it's right outside of the town of Madison, Indiana, which is right on the border of Indiana and Kentucky. There's actually a point that I will go to later in this park where it's like an overlook that you can see down to Kentucky from here. 
Um, the last two waterfalls on my list for today are on uh, or in this uh, state park. There's two Little Clifty and Big Clifty Falls, but they're both actually pretty big. I think around like a 60 foot drop. So right now I'm hiking back to uh, the first waterfall here. Right down here falling off this is where the falls is and like back up in here too. Uh, the water's not running extremely hard right now. Uh, so it's not like a huge waterfall, but it's still really pretty. This canyon is super deep and beautiful. It's really cool. Perfect time to be here too when the leaves are just starting to change colors. You got a mix of green and orange and yellow and red leaves. It's looking really nice around here. I like it a lot. So the next waterfall is Little Clifty Falls just around the corner down the trail from here. So right here where I'm standing now is the canyon for Little Clifty Falls and this area right here is actually the top of the waterfall. As you can see the river is at a trickle right now so there's not much water going over the falls. I guarantee like in springtime or after a nice heavy rain this would be a lot more uh, pumping. Alright, so I'm at the top of the observation deck here in Clifty Falls State Park. Right over here on the other side of this river is Kentucky, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, anyways, I think this about uh, concludes the end of the Indiana road trip video. It's really cool to uh, come back from traveling all over the world and find places in my home state that are equally as cool as all the places I've been. Uh, since I was like out adventuring and going exploring, trying to find lots of new places by vehicle instead of just in my hometown, I haven't really been around or lived in my hometown during the time to do it. So it's been cool to come back here and go on this road trip and uh, find cool places in my home state. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.